To kick off our adventures in Maine, we begin with a double feature of two micro malls in rural portions of the state, and we'll start with a quick trot into the Windham Mall in North Windham. Don't blink, or you may just miss these two. Let's get together in Windham. Windham Mall's humble beginnings began in 1980 with Bradley's, Welby Drug, and Martin's Shop and Save. The mall itself was built up by Rocca Construction and then managed by the Rocca Group, of which had ties in Canada. The mall would be further complemented with a twin screen cinema and the tenants would begin to pour in, including Down East Hobbies and Crafts, Shirts and Things, Knapp's Music, and Skillen's Greenhouse, just to name a few. Bradley's unfortunately closed in 1996, but would be subletted to make way for a Big Lots and a newer cinema. Meanwhile, Shop and Save would be converted into a Hannaford supermarket, while the mall itself wasn't doing too bad, it would be giving up a fair amount of parking and property for out parcels like Burger King, Pizza Hut, and Friendly's Restaurant. Additionally, the interior would be becoming home to more and more smaller stores, localized chains or mom and pop stores. Any space that couldn't be filled in would be taken over by Marshalls, who moved in to be an outward facing tenant. This would eat into the mall space, partially demalling it, and giving us that weird, awkward, narrow hallway. Big Lots would close in 2014, part of the space being taken over by Rennie's, while the cinema would expand into the remaining vacant space. Today, while the cinema's future is uncertain, thanks to 2020, it seems that the Windham Mall is still coming along, quite formidable for a tiny little mall. Granted, its tiny size has resulted in us going through this place rather quickly. We are just about done touring the Windham Mall in Maine, a partially demalled little micro mall. Don't you think it was nice? But wait, there's more! Get in the car and I'll show you! the music. Turnpike Mall, well, nope. this one's going to be a more tragic story. An old 60s original stuck in limbo. This is an old strip mall type layout. The mall corridor itself is the breezeway, so this one will go by quickly as well.
Turnpike Mall's roots go all the way back to 1967 when construction began, bringing the promise of Augusta's third shopping center and Maine's first enclosed mall. When it opened in 1969, it was anchored by a Zaire and Sears. The mall was well received and was reported to bring three decades of prosperity to the area with inlines like McCrory's, Hit or Miss Clothing, Fashion Bug, and even a twin screen cinema. Sadly, the problems arose by the turn of the century. Zayer was acquired by Ames earlier on, but Ames would close in 2002 after the fatal mistake of Ames acquiring Hills. However, this was mitigated when the space was renovated and subletted to make way for Christmas tree shops and a bed bath and beyond. However, the damage was already done to the mall as it battled with the marketplace at Augusta, a fancy new lifestyle center that opened in 1995. It would siphon away customers and eventually tenants too. TJ Maxx had come to the mall at one point but departed for new pastures in 2017. That same year, Sears also closed and would be subdivided for lease under new ownership. And finally, in 2018, the mall would go up for sale under receivership. Today, the mall only has four businesses to its name, as well as a book stand that doesn't see too much activity. Current owners are listed as Eastern Retail Properties, and they have outlined leasing plans with access to demographic sheets and site plans. While larger tenants will be called upon to fill the gap, it appears that the interior corridor will remain intact. For now. I will say, I am very glad I made the effort to come out to Maine. Many of these properties have been untapped by the larger names, and the only real coverage on these places are on blog sites. In fact, none of the bigger names in dead malls will cover oddballs like these, and I invite them to prove me wrong. I want people to see places like these, get to know about them, and at the end of the day, I want to try and drum up some kind of buzz or discussion to repurpose these places, get them filled, or repurpose the land that they sit on. And that just about does it for these two. I do hope you enjoyed the video. And please, share it, get it out there. Let's get talking about these places. Until next time. This is Doomy Grunt wishing you and the Windham and Turnpike Malls farewell and good luck in the raging storm. Thank mm -hmm. you.